In this video, we will be looking at TBC 2024.00 Aerial Photogrammetry Enhancements. We will look at the new oblique imagery processing and deliverables available in TBC. Let's now have a look at how to process oblique imagery in TBC 2024.00. We've kept the process and the steps the same as for normal UAV data you want to process. Uh, at the deliverables part, you will see that we have two options now, either for oblique or normal processing. So let's first of all set up our uh, coordinate system for this project. I'll just go into my defaults there. That is correct. Set up your coordinate system and then as per your normal UAV flight data as well, simply drag and drop your imagery folder into TBC to import your data set. That process is still exactly the same. And now again you will see it picks up the drone maker, the model, the sensor is picked up there. Again, you can change any of these values if you need. Height above ground we will just put in a value for the distance from the object, more or less, uh, as the height above ground is, does not apply to oblique imagery. Import, and it will start importing your data into TBC. Once the import is complete, this is what you will see, the flight, the area it covers, and the specific images that were taken for the oblique flight you did. In this flight, we had 269 images that it is, has imported for us. And there you go, click on the 3D view and we can quickly have a look and see what that looks like. So there you have an idea of what your flight looked like. If we rotate it, you will see that gives us an indication of how all those images look like. If you go to the photogrammetry tab, as I mentioned, exactly the same process as a normal UAV flight you previously imported coordinate system, import the data, and now you go to just photo stations. You will now be asked to process that and you adjust it as per normal. And TBC will automatically detect if this is a normal UAV flight or a oblique imagery flight that was done. So no need for you to do anything in TBC to stipulate which kind of flight you did. TBC will automatically detect what kind of flight was done. Once the processing has been done, you simply apply the adjustment and let's go have a look at the results. You'll get a flight mission report as per usual with all the same information we previously had for UAV drone flights. So please have a look through this. Uh, you can see the same kind of results. We are showing you yeah, the position, uh, green good and adjusted, uh, getting an idea of the 3D point cloud that it will generate, how much images were used, and you can go through this in detail, showing you all the information pertaining to the processing done for your oblique flight. So if you want more detail there, have a look at the report. 
now that we've done that you will see the results in there as well we'll close this go back to my 3d view and then the next thing to do is create the deliverables in tbc so this is where you will see a small difference to what we previously had in here the deliverable types is where you now specify do you want to do a normal mapping results uh, as we have previously digital surface model or digital terrain model your boundary that you can add there and the density if you have an oblique float and you would like to create the 3d point cloud and the 3d mesh that is where you do it now simply choose the deliverable quality in the advance you can tell it what file types you would like to create select the correct file types and the temporary processing folder is down there as well once you've set that up simply click create and tbc will then generate your 3d point cloud and 3d mesh for you Once the deliverables has been created, as per usual, we will just click on import and we will be able to view the 3D point cloud that was generated for us. Now, once the import is done, let's look at the 3D view. There we go close that and let's just go to view filter manager and quickly switch off the photogrammetry bit and the raw data and there we have it our 3d point cloud deliverable in tbc so as you can see easy and simple to process oblique imagery exactly the same three-step process as we have for normal uav flight data and simply choose the correct deliverable option when you get to that section.